Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of Leaf's Total Modded Island. As always, it's awesome to have you guys here, but let's just jump right into the video. We have a lot of things that we actually covered today, and I just want to make sure I talk it out with you guys in like this little pre-show, and just make sure that um you guys understand like where I'm coming from with all this. So, yeah, so there's a ton of stuff actually. So over here, I start to do a little bit of a food plaza. I wanted to have like this little centralized place over here. And I wanted to continue the theme of like all these seating areas. I'm really starting to like dig the aquatic pack seating and stuff like that. It's such like a versatile set that I feel like a lot of people kind of sleep on. I'm going to be completely honest. And yeah, I'm just going through, just adding a few more decorations, adding a little bit of foliage, just a bunch of more flowers, just making the stuff look very pretty. And I actually go the extra distance over here. I do something that I completely did not have to do at all, but I wanted to go over here and add a little bit of a foundation for our little food court. And I actually use the uh, African, I guess they're like the African animal signs, like the stone ones with like the gorilla face and stuff like that, I think they come out pretty, pretty swanky in the end. Don't mind me, just getting a wee bit of drink of coffee over here because I am tired. But yeah, just adding a lot more foliage, making the place look a little bit more dressed up and whatnot, and just making it look nice and pretty. Uh, I still do use like the Frontier Blueprints for all the eating areas. I feel like they just ma match the theme very well. And maybe if I feel the need for it, I can go back and double down on like, you know, making my own little food court items, I guess. But yeah, just making sure that all we have is some pretty good lighting. And here I go. You'll see me do this a lot. I just basically try and figure out what animal to build next by going through the market. And I kind of stumbled upon a nice breeding pair or actually a breeding trio of Gower. Now Gower are absolutely badass. So I have a few things to say about the Gower mod itself so originally when i released it for 1.5 it did not have sexual dimorphism i was like i was just a wee baby when i was starting out with that one and i don't know i just couldn't get the mail to work but now that we actually have the mail in game it is so badass i love him so much and i just had to get him inside the game at least somehow and that's exactly what we did so i have to big i have to shout wow i can't even talk I have to send a huge shout out to my boy Havoc1999, I think. It's Havoc nonetheless, but he was able to help me out with that and ZZ actually also helped me out with the icons as well. So big shout out to those two. You two like absolutely rocked my world with and we have like the Gower in the world now. And yeah, I'm doing a little bit of like fencing up here. I just wanted to do a small custom fence using like these mesh pieces. I figure we might as well kind of just separate all these and you would need some double fencing for the Gower as well because these boys can jump. Oh my God. I looked up Gower pictures online and I saw one just like absolutely clear a four foot, five foot fence. These guys are big chunky boys and they do not take SHIT from anyone. But yeah, here I am just dressing up the habitat a little bit. They don't really require that much foliage. In fact, they don't really like a lot of foliage in their habitat. I should probably change that out pretty soon just to make sure that we can get uncapped foliage. But maybe soon enough I'll actually end up doing that. I just really love using as much foliage as I can in these exhibits. But yeah, I have a bunch of enrichment just to keep them happy. Just making this habitat just as swanky as possible. I actually think I reloaded this after I updated it with um, Buff Zoo's changes. So everything you're seeing right here is happening like a little bit further on. I like have not had the time to actually sit down and like, you know, record a good old fashioned like playthrough of uh, Total Modded Island yet, but I think I may be able to do that today. So hopefully you guys can keep your eyes out for that. Just keep your eyes peeled because it'll be fun. It'll be swanky. It'll just be a jolly, jolly good time. And yeah, here I am just dressing up like the little area leading up to the Gowers. Just making sure it's nice and pretty. It's just a lot of the same things over and over again, but it's just that same monotony that I love in these like kind of zoos. Because you kind of build these like centralized themes. I love the peacock statues, by the way. I just rediscovered them and they are such an amazing piece. You'll actually see them up here in uh, the new mod showcase coming up pretty soon. So do keep your eyes peeled for that. 
there's just like a ton of new stuff coming to the channel. I love it. But yeah, just making like a nice little viewing area for the animal farm itself over there. Just making sure the guests can view them from the outside. And yeah, just making sure that the gowers are happy, making sure that the staff is working, making sure that everything is working nice and fine. And yeah, I add a little bit of education everywhere, just making sure that we keep that on the up and up. You may see us go down in money a lot since we started. I remember like we actually had a few hundred thousand because we actually deleted everything from the original map and everything is just going downhill at that rate. So we should get a chaotic episode of Total Modded Island come up soon enough. It'll be nice, it'll be fun, and it'll be swanky. But yeah, thank you guys for sticking through this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and we're about to jump into the live portion. And yeah, do be sure to stick around because I show off a few things that I'm not even sure if I, you know, recorded, if I recorded everything for it. Who knows? Who the hell knows? But you know what? Thank you guys for sticking around, and I shall see you there in five four three two one goodbye all right guys well welcome back to leaf's uh modded total modded island okay all right so yeah it has been quite some time since we've actually stepped in here and it's quite loud so we're actually going to keep it down but yeah we did a few things in the last speed build for one we did this little bit of a quote-unquote food court uh we don't actually have any real you know Ah, food exhi exhibits wow we don't actually have any real food stalls in there we still have the food stalls over here but i basically built this in order to get people to basically utilize this area a little bit more i have some restrooms over here which by the way we do need to charge people for them uh five cents should be fine and yeah they just have like all this nice pretty area to you know just hang out in and I definitely do want to start to include some more farm animals. I'm going to try and help Nick update his soon enough so we could actually get some more real animals in there. But yeah, we have this nice beautiful view right down into the water over there. And I would love to expand out there once we actually get the chance to. But in terms of animals, we have a few updates. So I include some of these like peafowl statues. I feel like they're absolutely striking to have. And we have a little bit more education in here for both the normal peafowl and the pied peafowl. So we have a bunch of different dip wow, a bunch of different types of peafowl in here. And it seems like our guests absolutely love them. And yeah, they're just clucking all along. And yeah, they are extremely loud, so I'm just gonna actually pause that right there. But a lot of people like to wash them, and that's you know, that's perfect. Uh, not too much has happened over here. Um, I did this little part over here so guests can actually see through from the outside. So we can still get some like interaction from the outside over here. And I'm actually going to copy this one right over here. So guests can still actually donate to them. We have this little bit of a habitat camera in here, which I love these things. So if we enter the camera view in here and wait for guys to come in, it, they usually come in during the rain. But... No, I just really do love how that one came out, and yeah, not much with that habitat, but we do have some new residents, and I want to include these guys because Buff Zoo actually improved these, they've actually buffed them, haha. <laughs> so these are the Indian Gowers, and they are beautiful, look at him, or at least that's a female, she's just knocking her head around, but yeah, these guys are absolute units, I love these guys, he is playing with his old toy right now and he just sat on this toy what a, what a nice guy but yeah these guys are beautiful they were originally made by j2bex who like absolutely revolutionized modding back in the day and i just am in love with these guys and they have a nice little habitat they don't really have as much space in the world as they should uh they it, they could use a little bit more space maybe eventually we'll kind of expand for them maybe we'll actually dig into the side of this mountain for them but for the time being, they're not they are not too upset about it. Their welfare is at like 50%. Um, and yeah, it's usually just the space that's the issue, but we can get to that eventually. But yeah, maybe a little too much coverage, but plants don't really matter. No, no. They're just enjoying their time up here. But, you know, we have a little bit of a view into the peacocks down there. And we have another, like, seating area up here. I just really do love this view over here because you can actually see the entrance. I don't know, it's just like a nice people watching thing. So, yeah, that is pretty much that. In terms of expansion, though, 
we're actually going to address our animal storage in here and we're going to sort by species. There's way too much sounds happening at once. So we do have a bunch of different things. We have the Przewalski's Wild Horse. We have the Nine Bandit Armadillos. We have another Nil guy for um, breeding purposes. We have some flamingos as well. We have another Gower in case we want to rotate the breeding. I do want to get like a deer walkthrough soon enough and I do have a lot more flamingos. I have the black bucks and yeah, all the flamingos as well. So hopefully we can do like a nice flamingo aviary. I'm thinking like right in the middle, we can have a nice tropical house and that may actually happen soon enough. I do want to have a nice little episode where I chill with you guys, where I actually address the economic situation because if we actually go in here to the graphs, um, Last year, last five years, sure. So our graphs haven't really been doing too good. We've mostly been kind of down a little bit. Maybe vertical. I have no clue how these work. Um, let's actually go to total profit. And we can actually see. We're sort of on the up and up. We're still losing money at a little bit. So cash flow, I feel like, gives it a little bit more ideas. So we are going to address our spending situations going soon. And yeah, but I really do thank you guys for checking this video out. I'll see you guys in the next one. Do take care. And yeah, we're going to have a lot more fun with this series going forward. So enjoy the Gowers. My name is Leaf and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care and have an awesome day.